Hello! So, you know there are those times when it's almost Christmas, like now, and you realize that you were planning to do stuff for the neighbors, but you didn't really do enough for the neighbors, and you're out of stuff to bake? Um, not that this has anything to do with my life. Um, anyway, so when that happens, there are ways around it that will get you fairly quickly to what you need. So, um, one of the things that I like working with is the almond bark topping. Um, the generic brand at my grocery store looks like this. Um, it comes in a tray. It actually looks like an ice cube tray. Um, oh, I will say, <laughs> this is actually a 24 ounce package, or it was. Um, I was used to them being a pound, so when I was working on it with this originally, um, I ended up with a whole lot of white confection. And I was like, oh, this is a lot more than I thought there was going to be. So I ended up using like two thirds of it uh, for a different project and then a third of it for this. The first project actually is another one that you could do um, spur of the moment as well. And that is, I might have talked about these before. Um... These are little mounds of, mounds of goodness. They are peanuts and mini marshmallows that you stir into the confection when it's still, um, well, when it's still soft, melted, but not hot. Because if it's hot, it will melt the marshmallows, which it gets a little weird. But so they're really easy. Um, I actually use my small ice cream scoop, um, or my cookie scoop, to make these. So they're about the same size. They're not overly... You know, they're not going to overwhelm anyone. But so this is something that you can do that's pretty easy. But you do have to have both mini marshmallows and something like peanuts around. Anything salty will work, though. So you could have mini marshmallows and uh, crackers. Um, maybe pretzels would be better than crackers. Um, I've actually done them with pretzel goldfish once. Those actually worked really well. Um, but today, um, in my kind of, oh my god, what am I going to do? Um, I realized I still had the, like, the eight ounces worth of this stuff, and on hand, some pretzels. Um, I don't know why I have gluten-free pretzels on hand, um, but believe it or not, this stuff is also gluten-free, um, because I guess mainly it's, like, <laughs> it's probably stuff I don't want to know. Um, hydrogenated palm kernel oil. Yeah, and oh, sugar is the main ingredient though, don't worry, sugar. Um, but it has non-fat dry milk, so it must be good for you. But anyway, so pretzels, melted uh, almond bark coating, and what I did is actually, I held the pretzel by the corner and dipped, and then you had, oh, this one actually has like, it's like a bunny, it's got bunny ears. Um, but most of, them, most of them don't have that. But, um, so you end up with, um, a pretzel that has a little bit of the salty end. Um, and the rest of it is the sweet end. Um, it's coated on both sides because I dipped it in. And then what I did at the end is I actually sprinkled it with, um, some of the same sparkling sugar, uh, that you would use on the spritz cookies that I make. So, really easy. And... <laughs> So I had, what, I had eight ounces of the car of the almond bark, and I did, I think, well, these are mini pretzels, but still, I did like 90 of them in that. So that's a decent return, and it's going to look really good. I've got some cookies, and we do this for the neighbors every year. So I've got, um, I can do a small plate of cookies and put some of these on it, and it'll fill out the plate really well, and it will look like something that I took time to make, which I did. Um, even though the hardest part was dipping without burning my fingers. Um, if you wanted to just go full bore and not worry about the, um, the salty ends sticking out, you could just throw them in, just spoon them out and spread them out, and you get kind of a pretzel bark. But I like having a handle. Um, so, anyway, there you go. I know it's the final weekend before Christmas. I know you're probably swamped. Um, but if you need that one last thing um, to take to something on the weekend, or or if you just want something sweet, just finally for you, 
not a bad idea. I keep this stuff on hand probably all year round. I buy it after the holidays when it's at a really good discount. Keep it in the pantry. Um, and hey, I suddenly have a whole lot of stuff to take to the neighbors tomorrow. All right, so, well, not this one though, because I'm gonna eat it. So anyway, there you go. Um, I hope the holiday season is not completely overwhelming to you. I hope you're doing well with it. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, I know it's not a great time of year for everybody, so um, for those of you who are not enjoying it that much, I hope you get through it. Uh, the new year is on its way, um, and eventually the sun will be out for more than like two hours a day. Anyway, there you go. In the meantime, Merry Christmas if you're celebrating, and I will see you in a week.